So we're just going over a couple of revisions that we need to make. We need to look over before right. they start the yeah before they start the disassembly process. But yeah, we made it made it to the shop. The thing is super heavy, a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. It didn't ride very good, but we'll uh we'll just deal with it. Look how look look how good the engine bay looks blacked out remember we actually painted the engine black this was all white originally uh we blacked it out because it just it, it, it looks better with all the trim pieces and everything on it it just looks more complete so ended up being a good uh good decision there so yeah the last thing you guys saw was we brought it over here to our other location uh right now mechanic might has it if you guys don't remember mechanic might over there uh uh og of the channel well, he's getting uh, ready to do all that. I wanted to show you guys the bottom of the bed. Uh, they flipped this thing over because, like I told you before, one of the extra steps we're doing that we don't normally do on an all-over paint job, we're actually painting the bottom. We, 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 we took the cab off. We painted the cab, the bottom side, and we're also, uh, we flipped the bed here and we made sure that we painted it. He wanted to go with a matte color. This is a small preview of what the actual color is going to be, but there is a twist. So you'll, you'll, you'll see later on, but this is the matte finish to the underside of the bed of what the actual color is gonna be. Truck on the lift right now, and we're just kind of tidying up the fuel system, all the lines that we made, uh, just finishing that up. I'm actually here mostly just to grab uh, footage for the paint process, but uh, mechanic Mike won't finish the truck. Mike, you miss being on YouTube? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Why? <laughs> Anyways. Look how flat that is from the factory. See that? Look at that. All right, so we got the fuel system complete. Uh, we're gonna drop the truck down here real quick. Uh, let it run for a little bit. Uh, then we can actually move it around. But for now, we just want to start it. Make uh, it's coming up to temp and all that stuff, so we don't have any issues later on. Let's see if this thing will start. I got my trusty bucket seat. So yeah, it fired right up, went smooth. Um, Mike's just adding a little bit of coolant there. A little coolant, checking over to make sure we got no fuel leaks. For right now, for now, everything seems to be on the up and up. Once we put a drive shaft in this thing, we'll be able to uh, move it around on its own power. More like poor pony power. Put up ponies aquí. Okay, so truck is in the paint department officially. Time to uh, really start sanding on this thing. Uh, we gotta get some primer down. We gotta basically get it ready for uh, the paint, really. Uh, the only problem with it, uh, so I'm gonna let you guys know now so you know in advance. It's gonna be a two-tone. It's a two-tone, it's gonna be a two-tone color scheme. So in order to do that, uh, we're gonna have to basically put the panels back on it, uh, trim out some pieces, put the panels back on it, then lay some stripes down, and then it's it's a process basically. So 
Uh, but Diego seems like he's got a good game plan for it. So the next thing to do is just start sanding and uh, get uh, bas basically get to work. Guys are hard at work at getting uh, all the panels uh, prepped for the painting process. This is um, this is probably the most painstaking process of it all. The actual prep work where is where the money is gonna lie on the paint job itself. Getting these panels prepped right is uh, goes a long way for the overall finish of the uh, vehicle. So they got. Obviously, we got a lot of work to do, and uh, it's a finger-hurting process, that's for sure. And so, while the guys are getting hard at work at uh, prepping, we're going to be... <laughs> well, tell me about the color scheme we got. What, what do we got for a color scheme on this thing? What are the colors? How about gray. Okay. It's only black. It's custom gray. Okay. We're going to outline the GMC in this line. In bronze. In bronze? Is that what you're mixing there? Yep. So we're doing a, a three color, right? A three color kind of like a tritone almost. Tritone, all custom. All custom. Nobody else have this color. And, oh, so you made this color. We didn't we didn't just pick a color swatch and said, hey, let's go with this. It's custom all the way through. All the way. good. Basically, he laid the color down so that it would get in those grooves and then because you didn't lay any clear down you're just able to kind of really sand the color out huh out of out of anything that's not already in the grooves which gives you that nice little clean line there once you put clear over it it looks great 